How to Treat Sticking Plaster Allergy A person who experiences itching or redness upon contact with materials containing adhesives or plaster, such as band-aids, medical or surgical tape, or even topical or transdermal patches, may have an adhesive bandage or plaster allergy. It is most commonly classified as contact dermatitis. The upper layers of skin become inflamed upon contact with an irritating substance. Knowing how to treat sticking plaster allergy can greatly reduce the severity of the inflammatory response and even lessen complications like infections. This guide details effective measures to treat this condition. 1. Check for symptoms. Contact dermatitis due to a plaster allergy can manifest as a red rash along with swelling, itching, or pain after direct contact with the substance in question. Sometimes it may resemble a burn. The itching can range from mild to severe, and some cases may lead to blisters. If you experience these symptoms, you may have a plaster allergy. The following steps detail treatment steps and options. 2. Remove the material containing the plaster. This is the most important measure to take. Immediately take off any adhesive bandage, surgical tape, or patch. If the area in contact with it suddenly becomes reddish, swollen, or itchy. Afterward, gently wash the area with mild soap and water to remove any remaining particles. In mild cases, doing so clears up the reaction. However, severe cases may need additional treatment. 3. Use corticosteroid creams. Corticosteroids are powerful medications that can ease inflammation. You can buy topical preparations containing low doses, such as 1% hydrocortisone cream, without a prescription. Mild cases usually resolve after a few applications. For more serious cases, however, buy creams containing a higher percentage of the medication. When applying, make sure the area is clean and dry. Moreover, it's best to protect the affected area from any external elements that may contribute to further irritation. 4. Try taking an antihistamine. Antihistamines are anti-allergy medications that help suppress the body's response to an allergen. Many are readily available over-the-counter and can help reduce itching, swelling, and other symptoms. 5. Check for blisters. Some cases of plaster allergy may be severe, and scratching the area may lead to fluid-filled blisters. Consider applying an antiseptic cream or ointment to prevent infection. At this point, it may be best to consult a physician to avoid any complications. 6. Relieve itching with ice cubes. If the area gets too itchy, rub some ice cubes on it for temporary relief. The cold also helps keep inflammation in check. Nevertheless, it's best to apply topical medications like corticosteroids to relieve inflammation and speed up the healing process. 7. Apply aloe vera. Aloe vera is a plant known for its moisturizing properties. A generous coat of aloe vera gel may relieve any annoying symptoms, while at the same time providing a protective barrier and speeding up the healing process. 8. Have a doctor prescribe oral medications. For serious cases with symptoms that persist even after you use topical medications, you may have to take a trip to your physician. They might prescribe oral medications, such as steroids like prednisone, or immune suppressants like azathioprine to keep your immune response in check. As with any health condition, prevention is always better than treatment. If you know you have an allergy to adhesive bandages, do your best to avoid using them. Other similar materials, such as regular tape, may be viable alternatives. With these steps on how to treat sticking plaster allergy, you can treat yourself and any loved ones who may be experiencing a reaction after using medical adhesives on their skin.